first of all, when I came uh, to the Israeli prison service and realized uh, uh, how many talented women we have in our staff that are not in a core, core positions of the Israeli prison service, and I was the head of the organization, I could and I did make a, a change. And I opened core positions for women. I didn't open the core position, I just put women, talented women, skilled women, in these positions like wardens, like in core positions that are uh, um, positions that you can be uh, promoted from them to high-ranking officer positions. And when I came to the organization, out of, I think, 17 or 18 facilities, there, was, there were only two women wardens. One was for the female prison, of course, and the second was for the juvenile prison, which is obvious. Women can deal with women and with juveniles. When I uh, finished my position, out of 24, I think, prisons, there were eight wardens of these prisons, and there were few of them in other positions, like the Department of uh, uh, Prisoners, which is the main department that deal with uh, courts, with the police, with everything that is related to managing the uh, inmates or the prisoners. Uh, and it happens to be that after, let's say, less than seven years since I've finished my time as the commissioner, there is now five um, brigadier generals, women in the prison service, and one major general, woman, in the uh, prison service. When comparing it to the Israeli Defense Forces, there is now still three uh, brigadier generals and one major general women, and you are talking about you know, 63 years in, in the Israeli Defense Forces and 10 up to 12 years in the Israeli prison service. So when a woman is in such a kind of position and she is aware of the advantages of women and she does br make the way much more friendly to the women, talented, skilled women on their way, it is an irreversible uh, process, and I'm very proud of it. That's one point. The other point regarding the inmates, it's related because when you have women in prisons, and I'm not speaking now about the commissioner, I'm speaking about wardens, about wing commanders, and about staff guards in the prison, of course, social workers and uh, um, education officers who are, the vast majority are women. But I'm speaking about security officers, warden, deputy warden. When there is women in prisons, it gets, you know, the, the, the tension is decreasing. Things are more quiet. The inmates uh, refer to a woman in a different way than they refer to a man. Mostly with respect, mostly quietly. I see that you are looking at it, 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 it doesn't make sense. It does, believe me, it does. And calmness and the way that prison is being managed. It doesn't mean that there is no exceptions. It doesn't mean that there is no riots, no uh, um, attacks or, or things like that. Of course, there are. But mainly you can find that when a woman is heading a prison, things are calmed down. 